What's up guys, Austin Newman here, and today we're going to be talking about glitching right inside Adobe Premiere Pro without any plugins or presets of any kind. As you know, I've covered glitching on my channel before, however, that was using keyframing techniques. This technique, as far as I know, is the simplest way to glitch inside Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. But of course, before we dive in, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. All right, so we're inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage on my timeline that I am ready to glitch, and I have my VHS old tape glitch overlay. Now you can find this exact overlay on YouTube as well as a ton others. Now I've linked this specific one below, which I'm told is in the public domain. So you can find it in the description if you want to also download the same footage. Of course, you can use any overlay that you like, and there's tons of free ones on YouTube that you can play around with. So going back to my timeline and this clip, while this clip is selected, I'm gonna hold down Alt and drag up to duplicate that clip. So we have two of the same clip on our timeline now. Going back to our VHS old tape glitch, I'm just gonna drag in the video portion of this over our frame. I'm gonna cut it a little bit because I know exactly where I like it to be. Now we see it doesn't fit the full frame. We can just right click on this clip and set to frame size. Now that that's done, we're gonna go over to our effects and we're going to type in track and you'll find under video effects and keying, track mat key. Grab that and drag that onto your middle clip here. So with this middle layer selected, we're gonna go up to our effect controls for that middle layer and you'll see track matte key. We're gonna change the composite using to matte luma. And for the matte, we have to select a video layer. Since we're using the video layer right above it, which is V3 or video three, we can select video three. Now we don't see an immediate change on this, which is fine because what we wanna do with this middle layer selected, go up to your scale. We're gonna change this by about 25% just to show a noticeable difference. So go 125 and we see a couple of fragments over here. And when we play through, you'll actually see little glitches pop up a part of that original VHS track layer. And that is the easiest way that I know of on how to glitch your footage inside Adobe Premiere. Now, I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you later.